hope you're having a fantastic day. Thanks for joining me for my Scrapping for Less Design Team project. Today, I get to make a card using this cute little stamp set from Lawn Fawn. It's called Some Bunny. It was sent to me by Scrapping for Less, and it's available at the Scrapping for Less store. I'll leave links for it below, uh, below in the description area for you. But there's a lot of cute little sentiments, great for Easter, but also a lot of cute little friendship sentiments. So that's what we're going to make today, a little friendship card. We're going to start off by stamping this cute little bunny. Now this bunny has his arm, left arm held out. There's a little watering pail in the stamp set that he can be holding. So I stamped him. Actually there's two little bunnies, one with his hand held out to the left, and then the other one, his hand is held out to the right. Um, later on I re-stamped the bunny that was had his hand held out to the right. So. Um, I just thought I would let you know that. I did a switcherooey, but I stamped three of the little flower boxes, um, two sets of each of the flowers, and then I'm going to grab that little garden uh, shovel there. We're going to stamp that along with the watering pail. I guess it's not a pail. It's a watering bucket. No. Watering can? Yes. <laughs> Okay, now I stamped three of the flower boxes because my intention is to make two of them. I'm going to turn two of them into little crates. I wanted my um, little bunny to be standing on something, so I thought this would be perfect to create a couple little crates with the flower boxes. I just colored everything in with my Copic markers and I fussy cut them out. And I'm going to give you a close up of what everything looks like. Um, I did trim out the dirt part of two of the little flower boxes where you can you'll be able to see here and those are the ones I'm going to be using for him to be standing on those two there so those are my images we're going to set those aside and this cardstock here is actually Strathmore Bristol smooth cardstock we're going to do a little bit of ink blending using some peeled paint distress oxide ink I'm just going to go along the bottom edge of this panel with my oxide ink that's going to make our a nice little grassy area. Once we have that shaded in, I am going to go in with some Broken China Distress Oxide Ink. And then this time using, instead of my blending tool, I'm going to use a stencil brush and just lightly shade the top portion of this panel. Just giving a little bit of color, a real soft color in the background. Okay, now I'm going to add a little bit of water to it. Now the water bottle that I have is a fine mist, so I spray it in my hand and then I drop it on the paper just to give a little bit more um, larger droplets. But I just used a paper towel to wipe that up. And then I'm going to take a grassy fields border die and I'm going to cut out some grass on that bottom portion of the panel. So we have a nice little grassy area there. Now I'm going to eventually trim down that top portion, but I'm going to grab a piece of yellow cardstock for my stash. And then using these dies, these are so pretty, they're new to me, but they are the Lacy Border dies from Lawn Fawn. These are also available at the Scrapping for Less store. Real pretty. And I added lace to the very top portion of this yellow cardstock and on the bottom also. It creates a real dainty look and I really like that. Now I'm just kind of measuring how wide I want this panel to be and then I'm going to trim it down and I'm going to adhere my grass and originally I was going to adhere it to the bottom of that panel but I have some yellow and white Baker's twine that matched my cardstock perfectly so I decided to leave a quarter inch gap on the very bottom of this panel that leaves me a little bit of room to add my Baker's twine okay now we're going to arrange a little seam I'm going to adhere one of the, um, I'm going to call it a crate, one of the crates directly to my panel and then I pop the other one up. Now we're going to do something a little fun. In the stamp set there's a little bit of um, a little water kind of an image that you can add to your watering pail. So I thought it'd be really fun to add that um, to acetate. I just used my stays on ink and then I'm going to trim it around and then um, I actually stamped two. One of them I got heavy handed but I'm just going to cut it out and attach it to my little watering can with my tape runner 
and I think it's going to be like a little floating water water uh, droplets I guess <laughs> but I think that's going to give a great effect okay I popped up my little bunny with some foam squares and now we're going to add some foam tape behind our little watering can and we're going to tuck that right behind my little bunny's hand now here's where you can see I, I actually changed bunnies. I re-stamped the one with the uh, right hand held out. I have a tendency when I make cards to go from left to right. <laughs> and so that bunny would have been le uh, right to left. So I did a switcheroo. Now we're going to do another fun little thing. I had some wire in my stash. And when I stamped my little flowers, they actually had a stem. But I cut off the stem when I fussy cut it out. And I attached the wire in its place. That way I can make my flowers as long as I wanted and as wonky as I wanted. So I'm just attaching them to my little flower box with some foam tape. I'm going to trim off the excess wire and then I'm just going to kind of arrange my little flowers. I think that looks, that's a nice little effect. I think like the acetate and the little wire accents along with eyelets or sequins just add a little extra something special to a card so I like doing that to my cards and I'm just arranging my flowers kind of figuring out where they're gonna go and then I'm gonna remove the backing off of my foam squares and then permanently just stick those down okay once we have that done I'm gonna trim this panel down just a hair ah, that, I just made a pun <laughs> Okay, <laughs> that wasn't intentional, but it turned out kind of cute, actually. <laughs> but, okay, I trimmed that down, and now I am going to um, stamp my sentiment. I chose the sentiment that says, Friends are flowers that never fade. And I think that just will fit on that top portion of my panel perfectly. I'm inking up my sentiment with Versafine ink. I'm going to stamp that a little bit towards the top. And I think that makes a beautiful sentiment for for a very um, for a side folding card. Okay, we're gonna flip this over, add some foam tape behind it. But before we secure it to our yellow cardstock, I'm gonna add that baker's twine. I'm just gonna stick one end to the foam tape behind this panel, wrap it around twice, and stick the end, and then trim it down. I'm gonna place that on my little lacy border panel. And I think that looks just precious. <laughs> okay, using my tape runner, I'm going to adhere that to my card base. My card base today is an A2 size card base. It's a side folding. And it's four and a quarter by five and a half inches. I'm going to trim off the little excess hair. And on my scissors, I have a piece of the flower box still stuck there. <laughs> but I trim that down. And then I have two little elements left over. So... Oh, I doubled up on some Baker's Twine and I tied a little bow. I'm going to adhere it to my card with um, a glue dot there. And then here's where I've taken those little extra pieces. Um, if I do have extra pieces when I color, um, I always try to add them to the inside of my card just for a little extra something. And I think that looks really fun. Now for bells and whistles, I decided to take my white gel pen and I dotted the inside of those little flowers. And then I'm going to take some Nuvo Crystal Drops. These are White Blizzard. And I'm going to add some to the little water that's coming out of my water pail. I, it's not a pail. My water... Water... Can? No. <laughs> and then I went ahead and added some to the center of my flowers. Now it's cloudy now, but it's going to dry clear. And I think it's going to look really neat on that acetate. But that's my card for today. Both the die and the stamp set are available at Scrapping for Less at a great price. If you want to check it out, I'll leave links below. I wish you a fantastic day, guys. Thanks so much for stopping by, and we'll see you again real soon.